You know, it seems that nowadays, you know, wrestling fans cannot be pleased just like any other fan base. And this is surprising, especially when you look at the fans that, you know, go out of the way to defend their favorite promotions and say that this is the promotion, you know, people should be at, or this promotion is better at the wrestling than this promotion or that promotion. Well, this promotion knows how to put on death matches and hardcore matches, and that's the way to go, and these promotions are pussies, and, and it's like, you know, okay, we get it, you know, you, you have your likes and dislikes. But what's strange about it, too, is nowadays you have fans that, you know, even, you know, defending their favorites are not satisfied. Or, basically, long story short, they want some kind of sensibility added to the product. They want fan, they, you know, they want, you know, the company itself, I should say, to make things seem more sensible, more balanced. And when you look at two of the major promotions here in North America, that being WWE and AEW, you know, that couldn't be, you know, said even more so. Because it don't matter if you're good at storytelling or your booking has improved, your long-term booking has improved, your long-term storyline, or storytelling, I should say, has improved, or your in-ring action with the wrestling has improved, you know, it is better than the competition. It seems that no matter the positives, there's always going to be a slight negative, if not a major negative. Like with WWE, it's the fact that Vince McMahon pretty much is back and kind of has his fingertips in creative again. And fans don't like that. It's even gotten to the point that JD has gone back to his, as they call it, Red Skies intro, where he talks about Tony Khan being better than Vince. You know, and that's something that obviously he didn't want to do, but right now, he has no choice. But... With Vince, you know, putting his fingertips, you know, dipping them into creative, as some people say he does, or is doing, pretty much anything that might resemble a Vince McMahon-like decision, he'll be the easiest one to go after, even if he's not there, or has anything to do with it. Period. But then when you look at AEW, you know, they have some positives too, but the thing is, you know, the negative, but the thing is, the negative is they don't take advantage of the possibilities that could be in front of them. Like, you got the Blackpool Combat Club and the Elite feuding, and it's like, you know, yes, money can be made with this, but you need one more ingredient or three more ingredients to really make it take off, and that, of course, is the likes of CM Punk and FTR. But yet, because, you know, you have this backstage drama to the point that, as I've talked about and others have talked about, AEW is going to be taking the new show that, one of us discovery has greenlit them for on Saturday nights between 8 and 10 called Collision and focusing it and centering it around CM Punk and basically by doing so, soft split the roster, if you will, or soft brand, brand split the roster uh, to the point that you'll have the same men and women appearing on both Dynamite, Rampage, and Collision. It's just that with Collision, that's only going to have people that are Friends with CM Punk, happy that CM Punk's back, as well as those that are willing to put the differences aside, you know, to work with CM Punk as well as get some more exposure. On the other hand, you'll just have Dynamite and Rampage, which will be more focused on the elite and those that work with them more than anything. And, you know, this is where you have fans pretty much PO'd, pissed, if you will, at the fact that, you know, this is happening and that Tony Khan's not taking, you know, a stand, not putting his foot down and saying, hey, I'm the boss, you know, we're going to do things my way, whether you like it or not, you know, and if I want CM Punk back and I want you, the elite, to start a storyline with him, that's going to happen because I know that's going to make money, especially as we head to All In in Wembley. You know, that's what's getting under fans' skin that Tony Khan's not taking that stand. And, you know, this is where fans, you know, would sour on Tony Khan as an owner because he's acting more as a fan and not as a boss. So, the thing, so yeah, you look at the fact on both sides of the pond, and even with the other promotions out there, like Impact, CZW, MLW, PWG, you know, New Japan, Stardom, you know, you have all these positives that people like, 
but it's the negatives that they dislike and keeps them, you know, constantly coming out on YouTube and social media and podcasting and complaining about these negatives and basically them just wanting a good product. I mean, you can't tell me that there are not some fans of New Japan and Stardom that although they're happy to say, see, happy to see Mercedes Monet, formerly Sasha Banks, you know, among the ranks of, you know, talent in the ring as the IWGP Women's Champion, you can't tell me they don't like the fact of, you know, they don't enjoy or like the fact that, you know, the people, uh, the people that run Bushido Road um, are letting her pretty much say and do whatever she wants, even if it feels insulting. You know, you know, you can't tell me they're not, you know, upset about that and wishing that the owners of Bushido Road would, you know, basically reel her in and say, hey, cool it down, calm it down kind of deal. So, you know, there's a lot of examples out, out there, like I said. And it's crazy because we are in a time right now where you think with a lot of wrestling that we're getting and everybody out there being a hardcore wrestling fan, you would think... Honestly, you know, everybody would be more juvenile, juvenile, if you will, more, you know, juvenile and happy and all that, that they got all this content coming, and yet there's always going to be something for them to complain about. And it's all because of the fact that these companies don't know how to balance things out, make sense of things. You know, if they do that, if they make sense of things, if they come out and say, hey, this is why we're doing collision and then everything, kind of make sense of things. By saying, hey, this is why collision's happening, more exposure for talent here on AEW, da da da, then that's fine. You know, that's absolutely fine. More power to them, right? More power to them. But then on the other hand, but then on the other hand, you have fans that pretty much are hearing reports and everything of, well, it's only being done because of CM Punk. And they don't want to know that. They don't want to know that this is only being done because of Punk and it's going to result in a, a soft brand split. No, they want. A legit reasoning, you know, besides that. A real reasoning besides that. You know, they look at Ring of Honor, if you will. And they're looking at a company that, you know, a brand, a promotion that Tony Khan owns. And yet they look at it now as, you know, Ring of Honor, you know, not as Ring of Honor, but as pretty much, you know, Rampage 2.0. That's how they look at it because a majority of the talent on there is, you know, uh, is basically AEW talent. It's not Ring of Honor talent. It's AEW talent. So it's like, why, why call it Ring of Honor if it doesn't have its own roster? You know, and that's another thing they complain about. Is how, how can you say this is its own thing? It's its own company. You know, it's its own promotion. If it's nothing more to them than Rampage 2.0. You know, that, that's how they view it. That's how they view it. Because you're mostly using AEW talent when you should be relying on Ring of Honor talent trying to sign people to Ring of Honor exclusive contracts and making the show about them and not just an extension of AEW. You see, to them, that doesn't make sense. It's like, you'll get good matches and maybe some good rivalries and storylines to come out of it, but what sense does it make outside of that? It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't feel right, if you will. The, 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 the thing is, the thing is, like I said, fans, all they really want is balance. They want understanding. They want real reasoning and sensibility as to why certain things are happening. They don't want to have to basically keep guessing and wondering, you know, this and that, you know, here and there. You know, they don't want to keep doing that. You know, they want, you know, something to enjoy. They don't want to have to keep coming on here and criticizing and asking, well, why is Ring of Honor just Rampage 2.0? Or why is this happening, that happening? It don't make sense. They, they don't want that. They want a product, you know, all the way around. All the way around. That makes sense. It's balanced out. and has a reasoning for certain things happening. A legit reason. And thus, by doing so, these companies, these companies can pretty much, you know, not have to worry about the constant criticism they get from fans, they get from, you know, insiders, they get from legends, you know, Hall of Famers. They can, you know, put that to the wayside and say, hey, we don't have to worry about that anymore because now we're making sense for everybody that's watching us and viewing us 
you know, and trying to enjoy what we bring to the table. We're making more sense. We're, sense. We're balancing things out. We're giving them a legit reasoning. But right now we're at a point where it doesn't seem like that's the case anymore. You know, that doesn't seem like it's the case. Instead, it feels like basically, long story short, it feels like basically, you know, we're in a situation to where nothing makes sense, nothing has a reason, and things feel unbalanced. So if I'm Tony Khan, you know, for AEW, I get a team together and I try I to work things out, make things more sense for AEW. And as far as my Ring of Honor purchase, I do what I can to make that make more sense. I sign talent that's going to be exclusive to Ring of Honor. I put the focus on them. And I have some of that new talent go over the talent that I have on there right now. You know, win, champion, win the championships. And then, and then by doing so, permanently put a focus on that OG talent that I have in Ring of Honor. And as far as WWE goes, that's basically something that they got to figure out themselves. I mean, if you have Vince McMahon coming out and going to reports and saying, hey, by email, hey, Triple H is the one running creative, not me. You know, if you have Nick Khan basically kind of trying to back that up in a way, you know, whether it's believable or not, then they got to put emphasis on that. They got to come out and say, yes, this is Triple H's time now. This is his roster. I'm not going to touch it. You know, this is Triple H's booking. I'm not going to do any, I'm not going to put my fingers on it. You know, they need to prove that. They need to basically say, this is all Triple H and not Vince McMahon. They need to show that. Because if not, you know, the little Vinceisms, if you will, little Vinceisms here and there is going to throw people off. You know, it's going to throw them off. It's going to piss them off, you know, and everything. And it's not going to make sense in the long run. It's not going to make sense for them or anybody else in the long run because things are going to feel unbalanced and not have a reasoning for happening. So, uh, so they they think they got things to work on too, and straighten out and make sensible and balance out and you know give a reason for. And like I said, you got all these other promotions out there like Impact, you know, New Japan, Stardom, you know, uh, MLW, PWG, CZW, you name it. They all have the positives, but they also have things they need to work on and make sense, balance out, and give a reasoning for. So, to me, in general, if nobody across the board in wrestling wants criticism anymore, they need to start making things, they need to start focusing and making things make sense, give them a reason, you know, make it balance out, and then go from there. But let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Comment below, live chat during the premiere. And I'll talk to you all later.